Hey everybody, and welcome to episode 4 of our JMC vlog. For this week, man, it, this has been a really rough week, to say the least. Um, yesterday, Thursday the 24th of June, we um, took my truck to get an oil change and to have the brakes checked out. Well, the only thing that went well through the whole thing was the oil change. We found out that my truck needed the whole rear brake system completely replaced. Um, brake pad, rotor, caliber, caliber, whatever they call it. Basically the entire system had to be uh, replaced and uh, that took basically a two day process. Uh, they fixed it, they put the new brakes on, the new rotors, and they, somebody must not have thought the caliber or whatever that other piece was, was bad, and we took off three miles down the road, and uh, smoke started literally pouring out from underneath my truck, and we made it back to the place we had it done, and uh, smoke was pouring out, and I was going about 15, 20 miles an hour with my blinking lights on and I'm going down Bridge Street in Chillicothe and some guy pulls up beside me and says are you okay and I said yes I'm just trying to get to this place you know where they work on v cars and uh, and then he moved on but uh, we got it fixed but um, we do have to have the front brakes checked out because they were still having a um, squeaking sound when we hit the brakes and it sounds like it's coming from the front so of course, if your back brakes are starting to go bad, your front brakes are probably going bad too. So, um, this is really expensive, and plus Jeremy's car is needing the brakes checked too. So, but luckily, I've had this truck for six years, and it's only broke down on me once, other than having to have the brakes replaced. And so, it's it's pretty good truck. I really like it, and uh, for its age, it's a uh, it's nine years old. So, it's it's pretty old, but it's been taken really good care of. So anyway, uh, on another note, I want to say happy birthday to my mom, because she turned, hmm, hmm, I won't say her age, but for those who can count, she was born in 1958, so that gives you an idea. And, uh, and I'm 29, so that kind of gives you a hint, but I'm not going to say her real age, because she'll kill me. So anyway, but she is in, uh, for her birthday she got to go to Florida and uh, she's having a pretty good time and so uh, mom happy birthday hope you've had a good trip she's not even back yet she might not be back until Monday night late so but she I guess she's having a good time haven't really talked to her but that's how my mom is she loves to run around and she doesn't have a cell phone she's like the only person in our entire family that doesn't have a cell phone and, and she don't want one because she's like I don't want people bothering me all the time so there you go um, she likes her freedom. So, to each their own. Um, the cool thing was today was we were able to, talking about cell phones, we were able to get an upgrade um, on our cell phone. And we got, this is the coolest thing. No, we didn't get an iPhone 4. Nope. But we got um, two free phones, free activation, free shipping, and a free car charger. From AT and T, we have AT and T, uh, and uh, we got two free phones. And basically, they're basically like um, they're not a BlackBerry, but they look like a BlackBerry, and they have the keep full keypad everything on the front there, and they're really cool. And um, so we got two free phones, and uh, free car charger, and free activation, free shipping. They're we're gonna have it here by either uh, tomorrow or Monday. They think Monday. So anyway, you can't beat that. And that's awesome. So, um, God blessed us there with, you know, free everything. You can't, I mean, you can't beat it. Plus, with uh, Jeremy being a veteran, he uh, has a special discount they give him for being in the military. So, great. It's great. It's awesome. And uh, so, it it uh, makes a way for us to still have, you know, be able to upgrade our cell phones. And and because uh, uh, Jeremy's was dying. And I uh, couldn't keep a charge because he's always on it. For you that call him all the time, so you know, and uh, so it, it was really awesome. So we're still able to, you know, uh, even though we've 
had these problems with the truck, you know, the Lord provided, saving us literally probably uh, between three or four hundred dollars on these cell phones. Um, what else? Uh, we created, we now have uh, Eternal Flame News, or Eternal Flame News, where we sh uh, write and share articles, uh, news articles that we feel Christians should know about. We are now on Twitter, and uh, you can find us twitter.com backslash capital E capital F L A M E flame capital N news uh, E W S lowercase Jeremy made me write it that way so if you're a little confused I'll put the link in the sidebar and also on the video as an annotation so you can understand what I'm trying to say as I'm spelling it if you don't understand but it's really cool um, so whenever we you know, we won't be just sharing the articles we've written on the blog now. We'll also be sharing articles, you know, throughout the day that we get that we think you might be interested in. So if you're interested in following us on there, um, go ahead. And also, um, that Twitter account is linked to my Facebook, my personal Facebook. Um, so uh, all the posts will automatically be going to my Facebook. And uh, they will still show up on the JMC Ministries fan page, Twitter, that kind of stuff too. So it, it, it's going everywhere. Um, what else? Um, we, um, we're getting ready to go to a Jesse Woodrow show meetup tomorrow. Um, Saturday, June 26th at 2 p.m. in South Bloomfield, Ohio at the Bob Evans. And it's right off of 23 and you can see it if, if you're from around this area, from around Ohio in this area where we live. Um, you're more than welcome to come out. We'd love to see you out there. Um, just look for us. And uh, we'll be at a table and just hanging out, just talking about different things that's going on in our world today. Um, our JMC live show uh, this week, we, we talked about so many different things this week on our JMC live show. Um, just different news articles that we've been sharing or we've responded about. Um, the biggest thing was um, two articles that we found was one, a doctor in South Africa created a condom with teeth inside it to uh, stop rape, stop men from raping women. And they, when the men are raping the women and they have the condom inside them, the, it's like, like a bear trap and the teeth will latch on to the man's thing and he has to have it surgically removed basically from by a doctor so that was really weird and then um, uh, in Massachusetts they're trying to start give to give condoms out to kindergartners elementary school kids and a lot of people are not happy about that so just a lot of things going on with our ministry wise we've uh, online um, we are uh, uh, Jeremy's in, finished his first week of uh, his spring quarter and uh, summer quarter, sorry, in college, and it went really well. And we are looking to possibly interview another one of his professors um, that he's have uh, that's teaching a class of his this uh, quarter. And so lots going on, and um, I, can, I know I'm forgetting something, but um, oh, real quick before I go. Um, just there's a uh, a young couple uh, there they just had a a baby yesterday and their son was having problems his name is Isaac so if you can remember pray for Isaac he's doing better but um, but just remember uh, Wes Gallagher and his wife Lindsay and their family as uh, they uh, deal with uh, Isaac being sick and um, praying for his recovery so I guess that's all for this week. Um, just uh, been really hot here. Well, it's summer, so it will be. But um, and hope you're enjoying your summer vacation for anybody that's on vacation. And we will see you next week. And God bless. Bye.